Ace of Spades is back and enjoying another time in the sun, given the nerf to 120 hand cannons. So back in Forsaken and Shadowkeep. There was a quest you had to do to get this weapon, but since Beyond Light was introduced, that all changed. Well, arguably, it's much easier to get the weapon these days, and today I'm going to go through how to get Ace of Spades in Destiny 2. Well, if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell. And if you enjoy this week in video games content, consider becoming a channel member by hitting that join button down below. Well, Ace of Spades is an exotic hand cannon introduced in Destiny 2 Forsaken, and Ace of Spades was the trusty hand cannon of Cade 6, and was built specifically for him by Banshee 44. Well, the gun was taken by Aldrin Sov during the story events of Forsaken, before being reclaimed by us, the Guardian. Well, let's have a look at the perks on Ace of Spades. So we've got Memento Mori, reloading after a kill loads the magazine with a few extra damaged bullets, and grants radar whilst aiming down sights. We've also got Firefly, so precision kills with the weapon increase the reload speed and cause the target to explode, dealing solar damage to nearby enemies. We're looking at the stats, we've got 84 for impact, 78 for range, 46 for stability, 46 for handling, 48 for reload speed. It's a 140 rounds per minute hand cannon with 13 in the magazine. Well, since the nerf to 120 hand cannons in Season of the Splicer, 140 hand cannons have risen back to the top once again, and Ace of Spades in particular has risen to the very top of the PvP charts, and if you play PvP at all, I'm sure you've noticed many more Guardians wielding Ace of Spades. Originally introduced in Forsaken, when Cade 6 was killed by Aldrin Sov, Ace of Spades was acquired after the main campaign. Well, the original quest was really, really good fun. You had to kill invaders in Gambit, as Gambit was introduced at the same time. You had to kill 250 enemies in strikes with hand cannons, and then 25 precision kills with hand cannons in the Crucible. But one of the best parts of the mission was finding Cade 6 hidden caches, and I have preserved that, and I'm going to play that at the end of the video, because you do get some really great lore, essentially Cade 6 leaving messages behind for his potential killers. It's really, really good, and I'll put that clip at the end of this video. Well, next up, let's have a look at how to get Ace of Spades after the Beyond Light update. So to get Ace of Spades, you can buy this from the tower from the exotic kiosk called the Monuments to Lost Lights, and that can be found next to the vault. So Ace of Spades is going to cost you one exotic cipher, 125,000 glimmer, 200 etheric spiral, and one ascendant shard. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through how to get all these ingredients so you can get Ace of Spades nice and quickly. And finally, it is worth noting, you do currently need the Forsaken expansion to get the Ace of Spades. There are rumours that the Forsaken content is hopefully becoming free to play later on with the Witch Queen, but we're just going to have to wait and see what Bungie says about that in the future. We can get an exotic cipher from the Season Pass, or you can complete the quest from Zur, and he's available on Fridays until recent on Tuesday. And I do a guide on Zur's location each week, so make sure you subscribe and hit that notifications bell to never miss a Zur update. Well, Glimmer can be acquired from pretty much any activity, so strikes, gambit, crucible, public events, patrols, etc. And you can also go to Spider on the Tangled Shore and trade in materials for Glimmer, but I wouldn't trade in your Etheric Spiral because you're going to need that for the Ace of Spades. Well, for the Ascendant Shard, you can purchase that from Banshee44 in the Tower, or you can get them from high-level Nightfalls as random drops from the final chest. So finally, there's the Etheric Spiral, and this is a little bit more in-depth, so I'm going to get into how to farm Etheric Spiral next. Well, Etheric Spiral is the plant tree material found on the Tangled Shore, and there's a couple of ways to get this plant tree resource. So before you head down onto the Tangled Shore, you want to prepare, and in particular, with your ghost shells. So there's a specific mod called Wombo Detector, which helps you detect caches and resources within a 50 meter range. So put this on your ghost, as it's really going to come in use. Once you've done this, head down to the Tangled Shore, and there's a few farming methods we're going to combine here. So pick up all the bounties from Spider. He is near the Thieves Landing Zone, and you can see his icon on the map, and his bounties will reward you a bunch of Etheric Spiral. Next, you can find the hidden caches on the Tangled Shore, and you'll be able to see these on your map, and they're going to reward you Etheric Spiral. And then finally, you can find individual Etheric Spiral on the ground, so if you get your ghost out, the Wombo Detector Ghost mod will help you find them nice and fast. And it is also worth checking in with Spider on the Tangled Shore as well, as he may be selling or trading Etheric Spiral. 
So here's inventory rotates daily, but do be careful with Spider though. I would wait until the five etheric spiral to be sold for one legendary shard rather than the 5,000 glimmer. Unless you've got loads of glimmer or you're really, really desperate as Spider is going to fleece you for everything that you've got. So once you've got the materials, head back to the Monuments to Lost Light in the tower and then you can purchase the Ace of Spades. Well, one really cool thing about the Ace of Spades is the lore tab. And this is the last will and testament of Cade 6. And it reads as follows. So, to whom it may concern, I, Cade 6, being of soundish mind and body, do hereby and henceforth and heretofore leave all my possessions to the person, alien, animal, or natural phenomenon that kills me. Aforesaid possessions include, but are not limited to, the Ace of Spades, any and all stashes I've hidden throughout the system, the Colonel, my faithful friend, and my debts which follow, and then the attached file is too big to download. So Cade 6 has a good sense of humour till the end there. But let me know down in the comments what you think of the Ace of Spades and what do you think of it in the sandboxes it is at the moment. It is completely dominating competitive PvP. If you haven't got this weapon, I would prioritise going out there and getting it immediately. Well, that is it for this guide for how to get the Ace of Spades after the Beyond Light update in Destiny 2. And as always, thank you so much for watching. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. If you want to join the community, check out the Discord link in the description, or you can follow me on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, liking and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again, see you soon, and I'll leave you with that footage of the old Ace of Spades mission, finding Cade 6 caches, and it is a really, really good piece of content, so I hope you enjoy that. Well, that's all for now, but I'll see you soon. Cade's secret stash. The note said this was the place he hid it. We find the stash. We find the parts we need to repair the Ace of Spades. This one's for Eris Morn. <clears throat> if you're listening to this, congrats on killing me. I assume you became a hive death god and fed me to your worm cult. <clears throat> that or you just finally got sick of me. Coincidentally, if you didn't kill me and still somehow hear this, I'm sorry for stealing your ship. And, well, pretty much every other interaction we ever had. Detecting a stash nearby. But to be clear, if you did kill me, I do not apologize, and I will consider all my actions 100% justified. Either way, feel free to put your rock on my maps now. I don't need them anymore. This one's for that armless coward, Tanix the Scarred. If you're listening to this, you killed me. But I bet I took a big chunk of your ugly husk with me. Guess Handel Brask wasn't enough for you, huh? You wanted another Hunter Vanguard for your sick collection? I got my share of regrets, sure. But not putting a bullet in you has got to rank in the top three. Won't be long before a better guardian than me puts you in your place. Just wish I could be there to see it. This one's for the fellow who calls himself the Drifter. You did warn me running with you would put a target on my back. Guess I'm in good company, though, huh? After all, never had any fun without a little risk. That's the whole idea with the operation you're putting together, ain't it? My idea, by the way, had it like a million years ago, back when you were still handsome. So, uh, you're welcome. You know, getting that up and running means coming out of hiding. Giving you-know-who another shot at you. I was around to see that showdown. Personally, my money was on the guy with the golden gun. But hey, what do I know? I'm dead. <laughs> Petra, if you're listening to this, you killed me. Maybe the Sobs, in all their mysterious wisdom, decided they were sick of me? If the Queen ordered the hit, I guess I understand. You're a real glutton for chivalry. But if it was Aldrin, I'm pissed. Just thinking about that peacock gives me a headache. But I'm betting my death was not a case of your famous collateral damage. Because you're a real do-gooder. Seriously, it's annoying. But good deeds never go unpunished when you're around. 
You just... You got a blast radius, you mean? Well, it was fun while it lasted. Oh, and uh, tell Paladin Orin, if the sun over Nessus escapes the nebula cycle, evac labor after dawn under solstice. You got that, Peavy? once for the mimes behind the deep stone crypt. You think just because you made me, you can unmake me? Hey, I understand. If I were you, I wouldn't want people knowing what I did either. Guess you better hope I didn't tell anyone about the crypt. Or about the, uh, what was it? Oh yeah, long, slow whisper. Because if I did, that would be real bad for you, huh? I may be dead, but I guarantee you ain't hurt the last of me. Here's one for Soraya Hawthorne. You know, when I told my ghost I'd be making one of these for you, she left. I didn't have to tell you that. Just wanted to make you feel bad. In my defense, if you're listening to this, you did kill me. I mean, if it was a fair fight, mano a mano, I'd win. No question. But I can see you planning on some convoluted, ridiculous trap. Some would call that paranoia. Me? I call it being a hunter. So, here's your next hunter lesson. Looking after your own. Speaking of which, congratulations. You are now the proud owner of the Colonel. Now, she only eats sesame seed muesli and drinks purified spring water with a sprig of parsley. Very nice, you two. for any hunter who kills me. Best guess, Marcus Wren? You realize you get my stuff now. All my stuff. Including the Hunter Vanguard gig. Yeah. Congratulations, dummy. That's what we call a Vanguard dare. Sucks, doesn't it? Okay. Brace yourself for some advice, hotshot. One, know your people. Like my Nessa scout, Qantas Ree. I like to call her about once a moon, else she gets a little too much night. Not enough stock, you know? Two, keep your weapons sharp. Your job's to watch everyone's back, which means no one's watching yours but you. And three, start thinking now about what you want to do for your successor's vanguard dare. Because trust me, kid, this gig will kill you. stuff is yours. No more working me over at chess. No more getting worked over at poker. For real, though. You know that if you needed to kill me for the good of the city or whatever, I totally understand. No hard feelings. Nada. You can put this voice recording away and go on with your life. Now, if you did have some kind of lingering guilt or something, that would be rough. Because you and I both know you'd have me yapping in your ear for the rest of your days. You wouldn't be able to help yourself. Hi, Ikora. So you know I'm making a bunch of these, right? I probably told you. I always gotta have the last word, and I'm gonna be prepared for every possibility. But to tell the truth, this one's the easiest to make. So long as we're being honest. I could never tell if you really liked me that much. But, uh, well, if you did hate me, the feeling was not mutual. In fact, yeah, I'll say it. Don't even mind that you killed me. I figure if we threw down, first off, no one can blame me for losing. And I know you'd be in the right. So, thanks, I guess. 
You were a... a good friend. Better than a guy like me could hope for anyway. So, yeah. Thanks, Nakora. For everything. silent type. You. Congratulations, buddy. I mean that. Always knew you'd outdo me someday. And if that means you had to do me in, too, well, you saved my life on Nessus, so I owed it to you anyway. Take care of the Ace of Spades, will you? I'm not just talking about the maintenance. Banshee can help you with all that. I mean, take care of Ace. Use it well. Oh, hey, and if you found any of those papers from my earlier... De deployments? Burn them. Don't want people poking through the lives of Kate Zero through Five. So just put it all behind you, okay? Every story has an end. This is mine.